Hello and welcome Cancerians. This is your September 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buy me a coffee forward slash or buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, what we will do here, Cancerians, is we will divide the reading into sections, so it's a bit easier to follow. So we will look at the overall energy for the months of September 2023, before we then look into your emotional core. Emotional core is whether or not there's healing that needs to happen, whether or not there's love coming in, or something needs to be tweaked, that sort of stuff. Before we then lastly look at opportunities, as they present themselves to you in the months of September 2023. Now, before we get going, I want you to remember that the sun is the ruler of the day, the moon is the ruler of the night, and you are the ruler of your own destiny. Are you ready? Let's have a look. Oh! So, normally I ask the guides to give me three cards, three energies. Um, a fourth one fell out, but the fourth one is related to the energy or the th to the third one, which means it's the energy of um, opportunities. Actually, you're not in a really bad place. You're not in a really bad month. The issue that you're having is, is that um, the only thing life works at this point in time is for you to be lighthearted. The energy that you have, the incoming energy, is Jupiter. Right. And Jupiter is what is known as the happy-go-lucky planet. It is believed that Jupiter was the first planet to ever form. Therefore, Jupiter has seen it all. So therefore, he knows that uh, even the hardest days uh, only have 24 hours, right? So the point I'm making is, now is the time for you to be lighthearted because that will bring abundance. And that will bring joy. And that will bring lightheartedness to situations that need to be looked at. But anything and everything only works when you are lighthearted. So if you are a person that struggles with mental health issues, which is what I'm getting here strongly, um, sounds a bit weird, but if you are on medication even, maybe you have to look at this and see if what you're taking, what you, if that's what you really need, if that makes sense. I'm also, and I'm not an expert on, on this, it's just the way the guides give it to me, I see a lot of raw foods. I see a lot of um, fruit and vegetable, that kind of stuff. So maybe uh, in order to cleanse, which again is partly uh, what I'm getting here is, um, maybe look at what you're eating, if that makes sense. Anyway, the overall energy here is about bringing about um, a higher energy, which again is the cleansing energy that they show me with the fruit. Right? Um, yeah. And that's really all I'm getting. It's just that unless you're lighthearted, anything else that they're saying to you is will fall apart. So your job is, Cancerians, to be lighthearted, right? Nothing is ever as bad as it is. We have a saying in Germany, nichts wird so heiß gegessen, wie es gekocht wird, which means um, nothing gets eaten as hot as it has been boiled. Oh. So, right? So, um, Looking at situations and understanding that they're never the totality of your existence and that things can change, maybe must change, um, can only be hmm, positively changed when you are being lighthearted, right? So, so be lighthearted, you know, if that means that you have to be a bit of a, of a silly person this month, be a silly person this month, okay? So, now we're moving on to your emotional core. Um, all the guides are saying to you is, there's not that much you need to do. What you need to understand is that when it comes to relationships, you have a natural strength. But that natural strength sometimes allows you to attract people that do not validate you by default. And you're strong enough to deal with it. The energy here is to, um, in any relationship, to have a dignified relationship. Sounds a bit weird, but, you know, what's the word? I'm getting the word trust, but it's not really what, what they mean, because trust, 
you know, it's not an easy thing uh, by any means for Cancerians because you're governed by the moon. Um, it's more the energy of respect, right? So, so if you are reflecting on the relationship you're in, make sure it's a respectful one. And at the same time, because they're doing this here in my vision, which means you also have to look whether or not you are being respectful as well, right? So, again, swings and roundabouts. Um, but you don't have to do any healing this month, per se. You just have to reflect on where are you, you know, where am I in, in life, where am I in my love life, and just um, understand that relationships for you only work when there's mutual respect. Okie dokie. Now, finally, we're moving into the last area, which is the area of opportunities. And you have two, two cards that fell out, um, two energies. Um, and it's quite interesting because the, the, the one that fell out was the, um, the root card or the root energy. And then the main energy here is about sensitizing. So when it comes to opportunities, I do not get a lot about what sustains you financially. So I'm not getting a lot about um, necessarily work-related opportunities. This is more about where do I go from here in life? What can I manifest that will be a good opportunity for me to then go there, right? If that makes sense. And all the guys are saying to you is you have to sensitize yourself. What that means is, Cancer, Cancerians, is that sometimes when you have a routine, you tend to follow it. And your life can be quite predictable that, that way, right? So, and they're not knocking it. All they're saying is, you know, um, there's a bit of safety um, in having a place that you see as your happy place. I get that. But at this point in time, it's about sensitizing yourself to what else is out there because there's changes in the energy of your opportunities. And so therefore, um, Sounds wrong, it's just the way I'm getting this. Bumping about and never changing anything um, is not really what happens here. And in order to do this, not only do you need to allow for, for you to see these opportunities um, and to sensitize yourself that maybe the life you have could be improved upon, right? Hence, opportunities. But the way this works for you, which is why you had an extra card, which means if an extra card falls out, then that's something that you are not doing. And therefore, you need to look at this and do this. What you're being asked in September, which is the month of um, the number nine, the number nine is the number of completion, right? We're moving into autumn. Um, again, the end of cycles, right? Um, letting things go. In order for you to figure out opportunities, it only really works when you are not all over the place. So remember, you were asked earlier um, to be lighthearted and to maybe be a bit of a silly person. But you can be a tut silly. Um, and it's just the way they show this to me. It's like, you know, uh, you, you talk more with, with tongue in cheek um, than in your face. That is sort of the lighthearted energy that I'm getting. But that doesn't mean that you're silly. And it doesn't mean that you, that you act and that you just um, not look at things. Don't confuse the two, right? But you need to be grounded. You need to understand, let me just reflect here, let me just ground, and then it is much easier to manifest. I think the most important thing here in your energy, Cancerians, is the energy of your emotional core um, and the question whether or not you are being um, respected as a partner. You are being respected when how people treat you with regards to how you feel you and I have to say this the way the guides give this to me this is a two-way street so reflect on whatever happened to you that might make you not be super respectful towards people um, maybe to have a look at this sensitize yourself to what it is you do and also bring about changes there in any case um, that's all we got for this month. That was your September 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And until we meet again, please remember that the sun is the ruler of the day, the moon is the ruler of the night and you are the ruler of your own destiny. See you soon.